in parks, on the tube, even in private at home. Nitrous oxide is a common party drug, but it can also be big business. Just ask Matt. Crazy demand, crazy. You could sell it on eBay, Gumtree, Insta, everywhere. The demand was nuts, and I think the scary point for me was when you saw little kids doing it. It became a bit of a craze. It was literally everywhere, all of the time. And that's the problem, according to the body which advises the government on this issue. The Advisory Council on the Misuse of Drugs was asked for its expertise. Twiddle your fingers. It comes as hospitals across the country reported a spike in nitrous oxide-related admissions. How much? 30. OK, just one. The council decided that the gas isn't harmful enough to warrant a ban. Instead, it suggests the illegal sale of it must be tackled. It's welcomed news for those who dislike the idea of criminalising drug use. Professor David Nutt is a known advocate for decriminalising drugs. It actually points out that the harmful effects of nitrous oxide aren't as harmful as people make out and they do not warrant criminalising people because criminalising them would actually be considerably more harmful to their lives than they actually taking nitrous oxide. So I think it's a sensible approach. Among the other recommendations is that local authorities and police should have more powers. One of the ways to do that is through a public spaces protection order like they have here in Tower Hamlets. It makes antisocial behaviour associated with the use of nitrous oxide an offence. And when it was launched in 2021, it was hugely popular. A PSPO only covers public spaces and a local councillor has told us it doesn't go far enough. We need to have some sort of tougher legislation which allows our uh, police officer, at obviously, to go and obviously issue some sort of, uh, you know, this, prosecute somebody who is not doing, not using it in appropriate manner. Without that, businesses are left to ask the questions. This seller, who wanted to speak to us anonymously, told us he only sells nitrous oxide for catering use. I asked them what are they intend to use our cream chargers for. If they say for catering purposes, then yeah, we can go along. Once it's in the person's hands, I, I don't know what, what they, could, they could do whatever they want with them. The Home Office said it's working to crack down on drug misuse and will now consider the advice. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News.